All right, good morning, afternoon, good evening, everybody. Let's get underway with this week's Shipyard Champions. Scores for last week. Uh, Poly Roll on top with 27, with Panzergraph with 25, Brosil with 19, Stealth with 16, and then B, Lari, and Lost Galaxy all together with the 15 point club, which means we're all fighting each other this time. And I picked Ilari's ship first, which is, but I may as well describe the ships required. So, uh, battle cruisers this time, brackets heavy cruisers, depending on your personal cl classification of what the hell battle cruisers have, super cruisers, super heavy cruisers, ultra cruisers, pocket battleships, whatever you want to call them, whatever the hell you want to classify them as. One to three ships, depending on the cost. And so, same old mega. Training 50, regular, maximum, and only doubles or singles, no triples. Must have a speed equal to 27 or 37 knots. I chose 27. Starting range must be between equal 10 to 20, 20 kilometers. So I wasn't 100% sure if this was battle range or fuel range. So I, it's 11,000 kilometer fuel range for operational, and then my starting range is 20 kilometers. You literally also picked 20 kilometers with overclass morning for weather. And all ships under total price of $12 billion. Well, $3,999,383,000 gets you one Hawaii class battlecruiser of my construction. Uh, Effective, because this hull can't actually go any lower than this displacement, effectively it's a 44,000 ton hull, or rudder, it's a slightly overweight 43,000 ton hull, with basically very good stats, you know, a slight aft weight offset, good pitch and roll stability, 100% engine efficiency, barely, mass and bulkheads, I do increase the beam a little bit in order to get the towers to fit. Also, I'm running uh, Tower 3, and then... Modern Secondary Tower 4 versus uh, just do the cost savings in order to bring the cost down to get three ships in instead of just two. It, which is also why it went for semi-oil fuel, diesel engines with AUX 2, Shaft 2, and Electric 1 with semi-balanced for rudder, uh, Modern 2 with Barbette four, 5 rudder, no anti-torp, single bottom hull, reinforced bulkheads 1 with anti-flood 2 and Citadel 5. Standard ratio for main galber shells. Max HE is for secondaries. Capitalistic HE shells for just a little bit of extra range with capitalistic 2 armor piercing shells. TNT 4 with triple base. Uh, I mean, you gotta love penetration damage. That's always nice numbers. Increase ammunition with heavy shells. First time actually in this little mini series of challenges that I've picked heavy shells instead of just regular. Electrical 1 turrets with auto-loading 2, just to, uh, yeah, bring the rate of fire up to 1.19 rounds a minute out of these Mark IV guns. 15.9, 57 caliber guns. Just a, you know, a little slip of cheese in order to get the Mark IV versus the Mark III of the 16. Uh, Coincidence 5 rangefinder with Generation 3 radar. Uh, no radio or uh, hydro. Again, cost-saving measure. 12.4 uh, inches on the main belt, 12.4 inches on the main deck, with up to f almost 6 inches on the fore belt, and then 4.5 in the aft, 4.6 in the fore belt, fore deck, and 3.7 inches in the aft deck, with a 10-inch conning tower and almost 3 inches superstructure, with 5-inch inner, 4 inches second inner, and 2.2 inches third inner for a citadel, and then Almost uh, 3.7, 1.4, and 0.5 millimeter or 0.5 half an inch for the inner deck on the Citadel. And, uh, well, the guns are a little bit interesting considering they are enlarged 15 inch guns. They're also 17 inches, 17% longer caliber guns. And then I've also got a secondary battery this time. Again, first time in a bit does it spin a secondary battery for this challenge. But they're 8 inch 42s. Which can reach out to 30 kilometers, which is 10 kilometers more than the starting range. And they've got a pretty fast rate of fire. And their their main goal is high, high explosive damage. Just 
had a little high explosive, maybe some fires. You know, we'll see what comes of what. But, I mean, they don't have terrible penetration. I mean, depending on what the deck is, they might be able to get through the deck armor with their armor piercing. But there's very little guarantees. But, yeah, it's a ABX style ship with, you know, Dual twin 15.9 57s, which you know reach out to 53 kilometer range, despite the battle starting at 20 kilometer range. So, our accuracy is 6.9 percent. We can punch through nearly 19 inches of armor on the belts and basically 10 inches of armor on the deck, which means it's it's probably going to come down to who gets first hits in, considering these are battle cruisers, not battleships, like they aren't as tanky. Although they won't be guaranteed penetrations on a cit on my cit own citadel belt, which is the good thing at twenty kilometer range, considering the citadel armor is more than that. Although there will be partial pens, but uh, yeah, let's let's see what exactly Yulari has built. Since I'm facing Yulari first, and then I'll be facing Lost Galaxy. I, I do like these very early submarines, by the by, with these just torpedoes just held onto the side. Like, yes, that is a perfectly safe place to place explosives. Yep. Alright, it's an AVXY again. Oh, I'm not seeing any secondaries immediately. Oh, we're both taking away from each other. Oh, there is secondaries. Wait, eight inch guns. All right, so we've matched each other effectively for secondaries, except for these 4.9s. Oh, they're... Okay, so we have the higher mark, but he's got the higher caliber. Uh, he has more belt armor, but less citadel armor. He's got a lower tier citadel. He's got, what is it, citadel three? Yeah, citadel three. Although again, Bigger guns, so more likely to hit just in general. And yeah, he is faster. Although we're almost equal displacement. So again, it's going to come down to who gets more hits in first, is the main deciding factor in this engagement. Is who exactly gets more shots in? I didn't get a screenshot beforehand, so we'll get a screenshot now. That's a fairly good thumbnail, I think. So hopefully, uh, x -Turp doesn't just decide to blow up, and hopefully, hopefully not A or B on the Soma, considering uh, <laughs> that's actively on fire. Let's go three times, just see what we get. And then we have Independence bringing up the rear. So far, no hits on our side, but two on theirs. Oh, mid death three. That was a yeah, that was a 17-inch effectively shell. Uh, we got a partial pen for first eight inch though. So far though, the battle has not started out. Particularly well, although it's a, that's we're up to five hits. Although it's all it's all inch hits and not you know big caliber gun hits, which is what we need. We need the big caliber gun hits. There's a big caliber gun hit. Excellent. Yeah, 
There we go. Let's see. The camera's being weird. That's an overpen, which is what we want. Ironically, our lighter armor is going to work for us here. And the Santa Elana is actually almost gone. Yeah, her four-inch magazines went up. And she's still flooding. Excellent. That's what we want. Although her main caliber guns are... Oh, they're having angle problems, so... We'll see. She's also down an engine, which means she's going to be easy to hit. Although, that was a lot of hits on, I think, Independence. Yeah, Independence is uh, taking a pounding. Independence target is set to Anna. Why target the lead? There we go. Now everybody should be targeting their own ship. Oh, no, there goes Independence. All right, so we're down one. But we've we effectively smashed two. We've effectively smashed two dead. It's just, you know, they haven't died yet. <laughs> What's our hit percentage? 60% chance to hit, which is very good. Very solid percentages. There we go. I think that was, was a flash fire. Secondary gun destroyed. Yeah, looks like ammunition went up again. What type of barbet did he have? Barbet 4. And what is this? The battle bubbles. Is also uh, not doing too hot. She's also had her four inch magazine go up. Or I guess it's typically a five inch magazine. They're not having very good luck with the secondary guns today. Alright, last two down. Last one. Ooh, that was an unfortunate hit. Getting a bloody hit. That was unfortunate, but. It will, it will last. That was a blocked fire hit. Oh, she's decided that she needs to pull back into the rear deformation. All right. He's gonna make the gunnery uh, targeting her less accurate. Destroy secondary gun. Unfortunately, that's already run out of ammo. ammo. <laughs> Not much you can really do. This has gone very well for us, at least so far. And like I predicted, it was who got the really good hits in first. Was who actually won this. Despite early hits from them, on their side, it was just a case of, I'm pretty sure we have a more rapid rate of fire. Oh no, they have a more rapid fire. Oh yeah, they got light shells. And two power to three. So we massively outrange these ships. If if we could use the 50 kilometer range, we'd be able to massively outgun these guys in terms of range. But that's a solid That's another three. That's another nine points. Off the top. Although Yulari does get a point from us and then or rather three points for us for the independence going down. Now Lost Galaxy was France. May as well just see what he built. There we go. Nope, that was wrong. That was not correct. It is Night at a Storm. 
It's a good thing I picked the other one first. For, if only for YouTube thumbnails. Especially considering it's a 10 kilometer range battle. There's probably going to be torpedoes. There's probably going to be torpedoes. This is going to be even more of a who gets the good hits in first battle. Than the last one was. I see two gun turrets. Yep, it's the correct ship. Ah, yes, 19 inch guns, effectively. Cut down 19 inch. Are they cut down? They might be cut down. Hey, we have this about the same. Ah, oh, yep, torpedoes. There they are. There's the torpedoes right in the right amidships. Like I thought. And she's 12 inches all round. And we are equal speed, and we actually weigh more than her. Let me guess. Uh. Oh no, max AP for the armor piercing shells for the main guns. And then secondary guns is max GC. Oh, these are probably immovable boats, which is why that it's so weird. I was like, why isn't this why is this gun turret so far forward? These boats are probably immovable. And there's also like gun turrets. Yeah, there's also secondary gun turrets in front of the main tower. Yeah, this is just welcome to fire and torpedoes. So I'm actually going to begin turning away. Avoid torpedoes. Go two times speed. Preemptively start turning. We've lost sight of them. Despite radar. All right, well, no point in burning away too much. We are gonna have to turn back in. If anything, just in order to engage. And also attempt to dodge the torpedoes that are probably gonna be coming our way eventually, or at least present a narrower target for them. Although, bow in, we... Well, they're going to have more firepower in each gun than us, but we do match the number of guns. They said I was right going three ships. Down. That's a lot of, a lot of hits. Oh, good God, the hits. Good God, the amount of hits on her. Damage torpedo is good. Oh, she's launched. She's definitely launched. Oh, there's a torpedo. There is a torpedo. That's not good. My god, the frame rate is just dead. Oh, that's the Hawaii just dead already, just from a single torpedo hit. It's a really good thing I chose. Oh, there goes New Orleans, just torpedoes hits. But yeah, it's a good thing I chose uh, Yulari. Again, I, I have a habit of picking the best possible person to fight against. There goes Hawaii. I mean, if it were for their torpedoes, we would probably win this fight. We would absolutely probably win this fight, just due to the fact of how much damage you can put out. And we're more accurate. 
we have more guns in terms of main guns than they do. They just have a lot of secondary guns. Oh, we need to fire a shot off into the darkness. Cast magic missile. Oh, we scored hits. I'm just gonna shamelessly use these hulks as uh, cover now. Against torpedoes. Oh, look, speaking of torpedoes, there's a torpedo now. It's a good thing I turned. Well, yeah, we sunk the Charlesburg, did heavy flooding. So we scored one for two. But man, those are big torpedoes. Although they've probably fired them all now. But it's a really good thing I chose Yularis first, considering. For points-wise, if nothing else. Yeah, there goes that torpedo. But yeah, no. As usual, Lost Galaxy is the... Uh a let there be Dakai, let there be fire design. Oh, they're about to reload their torpedoes. But they've just reloaded their torpedoes. Keep turning the circle. Oh, yeah, that's a torpedo hit. Yep. Oh dear, yeah, it just, yeah, Oof, that, that is a rough one. Still, our main gun accuracy is way better than theirs was. It's all 75% above versus highest being secondary guns on their side. Uh, the torpedo accuracy was extremely good. <laughs> the Theseus has scored 57,000 damage. Almost all of it due to torpedoes. And then four main gun hits. I mean, you scored a couple of main gun hits, but the... The sheer amount of two-inch rounds that these guys are firing. It's insane. I'm going to take a look, actually. Nope, we want France. Nope, that's... that's France. How many... two-inch guns do these things have? Oil 3, gas turbines... Oh, none of that stuff, actually. Edge of 1... Set of 5... Semi-armor piercing shells, okay. So actually 10 kilometers, they really couldn't hurt us with the 18 inch guns. I mean, partial pens will still do a fair bit, but not as much as it could have. But it sees computer melters here. Just, oh yeah. Well, welcome to Let There Be Daka, <laughs> as usual with uh, Lost Galaxy. <laughs> Casually attempt to melt the bonus computer. <laughs> In a good jest. Although, if we had managed to get out of 10 kilometer gun range, I mean, we wouldn't have been able to see them to the storm, but we would have been out of the secondary gun range and the computer melting. Although, the, the torpedoes, they're actually not, they're very limited angle mounts. But they also do 12,000 damage. Were these electrics or only the oxygens? 24 inch torpedoes. Again, two power three, not triple base. 
I mean, gun reload time is probably the reason why, just to be able to spam or get the insane amount of two-inch guns just firing down range. Although it was definitely lighter and cheaper than ours by half a million, basically. And it had RDF and Sonar 3 versus our ours not having that. Spacious crew quarters, too. Well, you probably have to go max beam and draw off in order to get the uh, these 18-inch guns to fit. Oh, technically almost 19-inch guns. But yeah, that's going to do it for this week. Hope you have a good day, evening, weekend. Take care, and hope to see you all next time. Have a good one, everyone.